What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm gonna be going over what you need to do first in the Series 3 update. So if you guys don't already know, Series 3 does come out today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So apply that as you will to Central and Pacific Time, obviously within the time ranges. But if you guys don't already know, Series 3 is pretty much a segment of Madden 20. It is every year they have Series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and so forth. And the way this pretty much works is that the game starts off in Series 1. Then it goes to series two and these are pretty much like i don't know the exact time limits between how they segment them but it's like a month month and a half each so what are we through we have we've got august september october we've had three months and like a week or three months yeah about three months in a week we've had about we're on the third series so give or take that's about it so in my personal opinion series one is obviously the start so you don't think much of it but series two was pretty cool and series three is looking pretty cool too now personally what you usually look for in every series is a series master, trophies, and level up rewards. Those are like the first three things. And then solos, obviously. So I'm gonna go over what order I prefer to do these in. Now, guys, before I get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. We're at 11 something K. I forget the exact number, but we're grinding out to 12. You guys have been awesome with the support lately. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button, boys. Comment down below what you guys are personally doing in series three. And are you excited for the masters, the solos, and everything that comes with it? And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes. All the loyal OG, all the fans. Always make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Helps out the channel tremendously. Now let's get into the video. So, you guys look in the top right corner of the screen right now. It should be like right above there. You will see my Mutt level 60 now has a bar, which means we can progress all the way up to the new maximum level, which is level 70. So the first thing I recommend doing in the new Series 3 is leveling up all the way to 70. Now, you might wonder why you might not want to do everything else first. Now, you could also do the souls at the same time because technically doing the souls gets you levels. So, I'll give you two attack strategies. Either you play the solo to level up, and if you guys don't know the fastest solo to level up, I do have a video going over it on my channel, the fast way to level up. I believe it is Baker Mayfield, though. It is week 10, moment one. If I do remember correctly, I have a video on it. It might be week 10, moment one. I'm pretty sure it might be this one, but always go, ch go check that out. I have a video on my channel. But. You can either play that solo over and 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 over, and over again for hours. Just throwing the ball 80 yards, starting over, and you can just restart them over and over. But if you prefer not to, you could try out the new challenge. So they did drop a new journey challenge that you could also use until you're done with that to level up. Then go play the solo challenge over and over again. But that challenge does give you a Byron Jones, I believe. I forget what overall he is, but it's a Byron Jones cornerback for the Cowboys. So if you want to get that reward first, you can go knock that out while leveling up. And then when you're done, go play the other solos. But in my opinion, you want to level up first. Now, leveling up comes with a few things that you're going to want to have. So, it comes with about two coin quick sells, just from coin quick sell packs. So, that's like 70k worth of 35k coin quick sells. 70k right there. Then there's going to be like three to four $1 packs. Now, if you guys want to spend that, I get that. But if you do spend those, those come with 85 platinum coin quick sells. I don't know if they have more than that, but I know there's at least an 85 overall in every one of those packs. So, an 85 overall, I believe they quick sell for a little bit over 100k. So, you will be getting close to i don't know i almost to 85 so i don't know if it's 150 or 120 but the point being here is that if there's at least three of them you will be making close to three to 400k on quick sells plus the coin quick sell so it's about 470k give or take plus you get gridiron packs and you get power passes now the power passes are huge right so i did drop a video yesterday going over the best players use the power pass on but to give you guys a quick idea of why you want to get the level up grind, let me show you a few of the players you could get for free on your team by leveling up to level 70 as soon as possible. So if you want to come over to the 90 to 91s, actually let's do 92 93s. I don't think the 91s are worth it. I'd use your power pass on the 92. So you could get Levante David for free, John Henderson for free, you could get Ty Law for free, Gene Upshaw for free, you could get Christian Okoye for free, Demarius Randall for free, you could get... Alvin Kamara for free, Andrew Luck for free, you can get Aaron Rodgers for free, and that's just the beginning. There's Calvin for free, Michael Vick, Tevin Coleman, Rob Gronkowski, Derek Carr, Joe Thomas, you cannot get because he's 93, Jadavion Clowney, Tevin Coleman again, George Kittle, Ezekiel Elliott you can get, you can get Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, Aaron Donald. Those are all the cards you can get for free from leveling up. So if you were thinking like maybe I don't really care for level 70, this is what you get from level 70. You get at least clo close to four to 500k worth of coins. It's half a million coins, just about. You get a free card that goes for over a million coins, potentially even two million coins if you do it right. So you're getting almost two million coins worth of a card. And, and you also get another 
89 to 90 overall power pass. So this is what else you're going to be missing out on if you don't get this done. So now you can get one of these players for free. So was it 89 to 90? Yeah, it was 87 to 88. So it's, oh, it's 89 to it's 89 to 90. So you can get a 90 overall player for free. So you can get like a guy like Demario Davis, any mud hero, pretty much mo most of the mud heroes besides the 91s. You can get Willie Brown. You can get Jerry Rice. Um, you could get let's see, let's see what, what's actually good here. Let's see, let's find something actually. You can get Lawrence Taylor for free. You can get Anthony Munoz for free. You can get CJ Mosley for free. You can get, let's see, let's see, let's see. Julio Jones for free. That's actually not a bad one. Um, I mean, those are the ones that I like at least. Obviously, I have to do more research into these because these obviously aren't filtered out properly. But you get the point. You get two of those players for free. Plus the coin value from what you're actually going to get in coins. Awesome grind. Then next you want to do is you want to be playing your solo challenges. Like I said, if you don't do the journey first, but for me as a content creator, you need to level up pretty quickly. I probably won't use the journeys, but you guys can. So in my opinion for you guys, go knock out the journeys while leveling up. Then go finish those week 10 moment one solos of Baker Mayfield. Knock those out. Get your level up. And once you're up to the level, then what's next is the trophy grind. So the trophy grind is the only thing that says to this. So if you come over to store, right? I don't believe it's updated yet because it is not officially, it'll be 10 30 in a few minutes, but come over to competitive currency. And as you come over here, you will see all the serious trophies things. So Melvin Gordon expires in approximately seven minutes. So you can tell what time it is at this point. So when this expires, they will update this with Devin McCourty, the new one, which is like the 94 Devin McCourty. Now I might actually be picking up that card. I have not decided yet, but he is looking pretty awesome. And although he does not have hit power, still like him. Now, if you guys are going to want that new Devin McCourty, it is a cheap 94 overall to get if you do it right. So the first thousand trophies are pretty simple. Just play online, play some solo battles, play weekend league. Literally one set of weekend league rewards and then about like 50 wins on multiplayer will get you close to the amount of trophies you guys need. If you had any leftover trophies, you'll hit it pretty easily. And then also you want to be getting your John Madden collectibles. So you still want to be building up your trophies and every new series gives you good opportunities to pull trophies because it resets all the objectives for you. So personally... For the average player, you might want to just take the McCourty. The, the guy that doesn't, for the budget team, you want to take the McCourty, right? It's a free 94 overall free safety. You're not going to get picky with it. I take it. But if you really are against that, you want to be getting those John Madden collectibles. Those are huge. Those greatly improve your team. Everyone's always asking, like, how's your Lamar Jackson 91? How are your players extra overalls? I can't get them that high. Coach Madden. That collectible gives you a crazy boost on your team, which then in turn helps my overalls and my players get up. So that's why I always have, like, overalls that you guys aren't used to seeing, like, and no one understands how Lamar's a 91 on my team. But the point is, the trophy grind is next. You get your so you get your levels, your solos, then the trophy grind starts next. And then when all of that's done, being that we are in your series, you want to head over to the auction block. This is the next thing I'm going to be doing for the next few days. But you got to give it some time because these cards aren't the easiest to pull. I'm going to be looking for this one filter for the next few days. I'm just going to be on top of it a little bit because this is where I want to get is the Redux filter, the Series Redux. So pretty much, Series Redux is that after every series, all the limited time cards from that series go back into packs as a Redux card. And I personally want Randy Moss, Aaron Donald, Deion Sanders, George Kittle. Those are the four guys I want. And Le'Veon Bell. I want those five guys. So I can only use my power pass on one, right? So take that one away. I need four more cards. So I'm gonna be looking at the Redux filter. As you can see, they're gonna be a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna be seeing if I can get some good prices. So I'm gonna start building up my coin stack actually as of today. See what I can go sell off. See what I can make some money back on. Probably could sell off some Peyton Manning. Uh, gotta sell off a few other things. Sell back Jalen Ramsey. Get him free from the solos I still haven't done. I have a few ways to make some coins back. And once I do all of that, then I can go ahead and gain myself enough of a coin stack to go hit and attack those Redux cards. That's the one thing that kind of sucks though. I do need to get my coins up for the Redux cards. But I do plan. I do need Aaron Donald for a fact. I have him on my team. I do need Randy Moss. I do need Deion Sanders. And I would love to have George Kittle. So, to get all of them, it's going to take a lot of coins. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Recap it for you guys. Level up with Journey and then go over to the over and over and over again Week 10 Moment 1 Baker Mayfield solos. Just literally bomb the ball, score a touchdown, and replay. Bomb the ball, score a touchdown. If you don't know how to do it, I have a video up on my channel actually in the game showing you how to do it. And then also, after that, get your trophies up using the series objectives. Obviously, just getting wins, get your trophies. Weekly get your trophies, solo battles, get your trophies, all of that. And guys, that is about it for the video. And like I said, always be on the lookout for those Redux players because it does impact the game. That's one of the biggest parts now. It allows you, it allows every other every player to kind of afford a limited time card, although you have to wait for them. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're already new to the channel, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family, boys. Comment down below what you think of what I said, what do you guys agree with, what don't you agree with, do you think that there's more to do that I didn't mention, or are these the most important things? If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're loyal, if you're a fan, anything. 
make sure to always give it a thumbs up. Helps me, helps me out tremendously, guys. It means more than you guys know. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.